So we're still here at Freescale, and you're showing some more Android right here. So can you introduce what this project is? Yeah, so it's basically uh, this uh, device is based on IMX37, a new silicon from uh, Freescale, which is basically targeted towards media applications. It's Android-based uh, portable media player, MID kind of devices, where you have multiple formats, uh, H.264, MPEG-4, VC1 uh, formats playing back. So it's really optimized for all the codecs? Exactly, because it, it has hardwired uh, H.264, MPEG-4, and VC1. Uh, running on the platform, it's an ARM 11 based device. And uh, can you can you show it a bit? Yeah. So it, what is it, working already? What we have right now is the basic uh, Google Android yeah. ported there. We have some application, a media player application, which is here, uh, which can uh, it's it's a third party application. It's not a standard yeah. uh, Android. It's a third party application. We have a, a video playback happening here. All right. So. Total, total smooth. I mean, it's it's going to be so total smooth, or playing all these codecs in full frame rates and full what is the resolutions and exactly because a relatively new chip is the first version of Android which we have now. Yeah. But what we're looking at, we already have custom engagements happening, wherein uh, all this full featured PMP based on Android is going to be released in the market. So we're working. Uh, we yeah. And one of the key features what we see is Android being a, a mobile platform. We're trying to bring it to. Uh, non-mobile applications wherein extensions like MTP, DRM, uh, Wi-Fi Sync, which is not part of Android, we are, we are going to integrate along with Android. So that is the key feature which we are going to bring in here. So we have the basic Android and PMP specific application extensions integrated with Android. And uh, it says cost effective. Definitely, the silicon is uh, yeah. optimized. It's, a, it's, it's compared to maybe many other platforms, the cost wise is much, much, much lower. And something like, say for example, like this is the, the basic Android uh, from Google. What we are trying to bring is extensions like uh, post-processing, audio, video, UPnP, DLNA, DRM, power management, FM recording, multiple features, which is not part of Android, being introduced and integrated along with Android. So that's the way you differentiate yourself. Exactly, because yeah. that's not there today. And, yeah. uh, and uh, the PMP market requires those applications. So we, we yeah. understand that, okay, we're looking at very vertical specific extensions and bringing yeah. it to HSDPA that is the next version, next version. <laughs> because, yeah, because yeah. Can, the PMP market whatever it is required yeah. for them to actually come out with an Android based PMP we will support that. just Wi-Fi for now in the first version yeah Wi-Fi you will add over yeah. time the MID requires WiMAX on LTE yeah. over time you will add those as well so right. 3G yeah. uh, WiMAX or LTE nice and the resolution of the video did you say we, we would uh, support up to wide VGA wide VGA resolution wide VGA. so not HD on this one right no not no. HD on this one and no, uh, the TV output, TV input, can you record video? Or? We can record. So what yeah. we support recording, uh, not not video, because the thing is, uh, it is there is no encoder hardwired there. So we might not support, because it might not be high resolution encoding. But we will do audio video, audio encoding, like FM recording, those kind of features will be supported on the platform. Nice. And uh, you will support, uh, like, the hard disk and the PMP? Yes. And, um, it's a PMP with Android as the middleware. Yeah. So, which means like to mo the customers has the uh, features to download third-party applications, which is available on Google, yeah. and run it on this. How good will it run browsers? Uh, any standard do, browser. Do you do Ajax and Flash? No, not no. Not yet. We, we, not yet, because Flash and Ajax is not planned immediately. Maybe. Yeah. Because right now Flash itself is not being ported there. So once yeah. it's available, we will have an upgrade. Right, right now, the initial customer engagement is with basic yeah. features. The basic WebKit browser, exactly. the same you get on a, a Google phones right now, right. Like HTC right. phones. Yeah, because what we see for MID and PMP is not a very high-end feature. It's more a media device. Right. How, 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 do, how cheap do you, do you imagine? Is there an official uh, cheap, cheapness imagine for this kind of device? Uh, That's no. up to the ODM and all that? Exactly. See, I'm saying uh, cost-wise, we don't see a much of a difference between the standard PMP and this one. But the thing is, the feature-wise, you have the added feature of Android being supported, there, yeah. which is a big uh, because advantage. there are some PMPs, you know, with flash memory that only hundred dollars. 
So I, I don't know how to comment on that. Definitely because the HTC wise. is much more expensive, you know, the mobile phones and smartphones and all that. So it might be like cheaper than smartphones, maybe. I mean, the, the, the idea is maybe. It, yeah, because yeah, I mean, you, you see a lot of uh, PMPs in the market, right? Yeah. So you can compare the price of the same PMPs. Uh, right. But the advantage is you have a, a Android support on that. Cool. Okay, thanks. Thank thanks you so. very much. And when is it available? When is it ready? When is so shipping? The, uh, we, we expect our first customer to to come and ship around end of this year. End of this year? Yeah, because from our side, in terms of uh, silicon, in terms of fe uh, yeah. feature-wise, we are kind of developing now. But the customer, we should see it by Q1 next year. Yeah. Product is there anything about the Android version 2 that uh, that you are working on already or that somebody I mean, is going to come and you're going to integrate? I, I, you know? I don't know. I don't know right now because we work on the latest one, the, yeah. the R2 or 1.5. Yeah. We are committed to support the yeah. future version when it comes. You, can, you, you know how to use it exactly. when it comes. <laughs> yeah. And you have this big board here this but is it's going to be much more. No, no. So this is basically a development board yeah. from Freescale. We yeah. call it the product development kit. Yeah. Uh, this is for us to develop and our customers to develop their application. But we, what we do is we sub work with our customers, yeah. do the custom board, port on that, yeah. and make it work on that. The end board might be smaller much than more. the screen? Definitely. Or? Definitely. The oh, you can't screen. be smaller than the screen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, because PMP, you don't need to be smaller than the screen. Yeah. Because the PMP size, you can have a board. Okay? Because yeah. the smaller the layers go up, the cost goes up. Okay. So there's no point in having a smaller board. Okay, cool, thanks.